Hi, I'm Gerrit Thijs, Strategic Business Development at Need Up Livestock Management. And my name is Hein Westerman. I'm the Sales Account Manager in Asia. We would like to thank Tonicity for giving us the opportunity to organize this webinar. NEDAP stands for Nederlandse Apparatenfabriek. That means that we build solutions. But by now, we are working together with global livestock producers to shape the future together. We are a listed company in the Netherlands, existed since 1929, and last year we had our 19th anniversary celebration. As we first initially start as a mass producing company and got listed since 1947, in the 70s we moved from mass production of Bakelite into individual identification of livestock in professional farming. We work with 750 experts from 11 offices globally and we have seven business units that focus on specific customer groups. Next to livestock management, we have six other business units that work with customers globally known and offer them solutions on light control, identification systems, retail, security, staffing solutions, and healthcare. Within livestock management, we have both divisions in dairy industry and the pig industry. And we work with large enterprises that provide technology as a system integrator, like Kia or Lely. And we work with large pig producers on the control of their complete production cycle. On the solutions that we offer for the pig industry, of course, we will discuss further today. But first, I would like to start with how we like to work as need app livestock management. We want to act as an observe, create and scale business unit. We work with our customers, observe the challenges they have in their professional life, create solutions for that and then scale them so we can be an, of impact in the market that we act in. And today we would like to discuss with you these topics. The top three technologies that are major trends for the next five years. Where we are now in using them and applying them within our industry and have a small peep through in the future. What would happen if we would apply all this technology into pig production? The top three technologies we would like to discuss are artificial intelligence, blockchain and the Internet of Things. Now, artificial intelligence is no more and no less than having a machine, a computer, doing things that we as a human actually can do very well. And as an example, there is this picture in which every human can see the trend in the image in an instant of a second. However, for a machine, for a computer, this is a very challenging task because in his view, every zero is different. We can improve that by having the computer learn from what we see and we actually are training him. We're training him to see what we see. That happens in three steps. In this example where it analyzes a picture, it starts with a classification, explaining what is in the picture, then the detection and a segmentation to see where, what type of uh, image it can be seen. And as we are training the machine, the computer, we slowly improve the behavior of and the performance of that intelligence. Whereas from the left side, where there's a selection of animals that can be seen, via training of the computer, we indicate 
what picture actually is a cat? Now, what is important is to understand is that all the steps that are in between there are not in programming, but in training. So we are not programming the machine to detect this is a cat. We are learning, we are training the computer that this is a cat. Machine learning is in a rapid development. And until now, the performance is still lower than our, the performance of our human brain. But we are expecting to reach the cross point where computer performance is exceeding human performance within the next 10 years. Please be sure that this is not about emotional intelligence. This is all about the artificial intelligence that can do a specific task and it does not mimic the human, but it mimics our identification of uh, things that we see in the outside world. And we are already applying it. Although all the examples that we show here are still in a very preliminary stage, already we can start to identify animals based on the vision that we have from them. We can already count piglets. We can already have a deduction of the weight, an estimation of the weight based on the surface of a finisher pig. The second trend is blockchain. Now blockchain is no more and no less than a system that tracks the absolute truth. It means that every set of information can be tracked into the previous version of that set of information. As you can see in this example, the first piece of information, which is called the Genesis block, is traced back, is formed in a chain to the second version of that information. And as we are adding or changing that information, every time we build a new block in that chain. Now, why is this important? Well, in all the organizations in society, the registration of the absolute truth is vital to the functioning of a society. Is this plot of land really yours? Is the money in your bank account really yours? Are you really officially married to your wife or husband? All these things are vital to the society and, the tr and are based on the trust of the absolute truth. Now, of course, in food production, this is also crucial. More and more, we want people to be able to trust in the integrity of the food that we produce. And whereas in previous days, there was an immediate connection to the producer of food, nowadays, these are by industrialized production systems that are actually far away from the world of the consumer. And as the buying behavior of consumers changes into an online reality, more and more a estimation and a proof of the way things were produced and the traceability of the way things food was produced becomes vital to create the trust of the consumer to buy that specific piece of food. The third technology I want to discuss is the Internet of Things. The Internet of Things is about the connection of sensors and devices to the Internet. It is sharing information, data, and makes them accessible on a cloud level. The way we are collecting data is developing exponentially. Already by now, we have 50 times more, we have time, five times more sensor data being registered compared to the human data that we are collecting.
And we already are applying those Internet of Things into livestock management today. Within dairy cows, we have sensors applied in the color of the animal that detects their eating, standing and lying behavior. And in this way, we are monitoring and analyzing their behavior individually, also comparing it to the herd and to standardized references. Now these three technologies are already in use in livestock management today. And I want to take a quick detour to dairy industry, where Needot Livestock Management has a lot of activities, and show you how we are using them today. I already showed to you the Internet of Things, where we use a tag, a smart tag, on the dairy cow to register the movement of the animals and actually are connecting the dairy cow to the Internet. We make the dairy cow a part of the Internet of Things. And we are actually using artificial intelligence today to monitor and analyze the standing and lying behavior of that individual cow. Because we know that the lying behavior has a direct relationship with the performance of that cow. We know that every hour that a cow is lying per day, she will produce um, a liter of milk more per day. And why is this strong relationship there? Well, actually it's there because it's a ruminant. And the lying stands for rumination of the dairy cow supporting her milk production. And even blockchain is used today. In Denmark, there are systems where the health reports of the dairy cows, based on their smart tags and analyzed by the artificial intelligence, are put into a blockchain transparency system that will give you the information of a single package of milk telling you that this milk was produced by cows that were each individually in a healthy state. And in this way, offering transparency towards the consumer. Of course, we are today talking about the pig. And like the examples I have shown in dairy, for us, the individual pig is the starting point of our systems. And around that, we have built management systems, housing concepts that manage the individual pig. But they are not there, just there to execute that management. By now, they have developed into data collection machines that constantly make data available on the individual pig. And as needed, we have built a circle around them, offering service and storage to make to collect that data and to analyze it and apply it into the daily management of our housing concepts. And once that data is available in that form, we have the opportunity to develop applications for that. Applications that can support the producer in better supporting the performance of their animals but also are offering access to that data to other parts of the industry. Now, the moment that you have data available on a cloud level, on a server level, via a protected connection, we can give access to that data and give a real-time insight into developments like weight, feed intake based on the data that is being collected 24-7 by our systems. And as we make this data available to the producer on site, we also can make it available to, for instance, a management system. But we believe that there are much more possibilities once the industry is starting to share and connect that data with the other vital parts of our industry, genetic improvement, slaughterhouse performance, nutrition, 
healthcare. NIDAP has been very decisive in the role they want to take in that ecosystem that is being built. We find it our role to make sure that we can may offer the producers smarter systems that are supported by NIDAP, in which we apply the data that we, our systems are collecting and offer them to the producer to make it easier to manage his systems. Now, the moment we are talking about performance, already much more data is needed. We need data about the number of piglets, about the slaughter quality of the finisher pigs, about the genetics, about the nutrition. That's where NIDA believes that we need a connected industry to get that data together, analyze it, and work together towards a better performing industry. And finally, we believe that our concepts can support a transparency system by feeding the data of the daily performance and daily development of the individual pig as a source for a transparency system that can offer the consumer a complete insight and trust into the pork that is being produced. So that is how NEDAP Livestock Management designs and develops smart solutions for livestock farming worldwide. And the systems that we are have developed and are offering towards the pig industry are throughout the complete pig production cycle. And I'm happy to hand over to Harjan to discuss these concepts with you. Thank you, Gerard, on this clear explanation of how NEDAP fits the data development cycle. Now, I'm going to tell you something about the need of concepts. In, in the past, we fed pigs. We knew that if we put the feed in a trough, that the pig would eat it. However, there are more, is more information available about the pig nowadays. We have the genet genetic data, we have the feed manufacturing data with the veterinary service and the meat processing data. And we want to combine this input However, we have one small problem, a gap we want to fill. It is the fact that we do not know how much the pig actually eats or how much the pig actually gains in weight by eating the food. So we identified it as the last meter problem. Now, we as NEDAP, and we already discussed it in this webinar, but there are a couple of data that's available towards the pig. Veterinarian services, genetic companies, the feeding companies, and the slaughterhouse, all has data available on the piglet, pig. We as NIDAP seek to add to this data the weight, at least, of the feed intake of the pig and the weight the pig actually gains by this. For that, there are a couple of steps that need to be taken before we can actually put the data, the zeros and the ones taken from the pig, and from the genetic company, etc., into the information and up to barn management. First off, the data collected by the NEDAP solutions are weight and feed intake. The data we already had are protein levels of the feed, the energy levels of the feed, uh, things like genetic characteristics of the pig, the health characteristics, but also the slaughter data of the pig after slaughtering. These are all the zeros and the ones. They are not analyzed by any, any means. First of all, we as NEDAP sought to put an algorithm to it. If you multiply the weight times the feed intake, what do you get? It's just an equation for now, but we put an algorithm in there. And then when you calculate the algorithm, you get information. The actual feed conversion of the piglet, etc., etc. Still of one pig, though. But of course, our NEDAP solutions are able to co collect the data of more than just one piglet. We have group data. We have pig number two, pig number three, etc. cetera, of a whole group, up to thousands, maybe a millions of pigs. When you compare this group data of the other pigs to the data of pig number one, you get knowledge. You get a feed conversion of one pig relative to the, to the group. A 
when you add to this knowledge the human understanding, you get the goals, the financial and technical goals, you will, it will lead into wisdom, actual operational management of the bar. Now, we as NIDA offer a couple of solutions that make sense for your operational management. We have NIDA so sense, we have NIDA port sense, we have NIDA pro sense. Well, as you can see on this diagram, all of our propositions are connected. The native so sense is mostly connected until the, uh, the pig management, the, the soul management. The pro sense is genetics management, but also feed uh, conversion measurements. And there's the pork sense that's meant to be, that manages finishing pigs. First of all, we'll start to explain the NADAP electronic cell feeding system. This, this is a barn overview of our electronic cell feeding system. Apart from the electronic cell feeding system, we also see a weight monitoring, separation, central separation unit, a heat detection for uh, sow to turn up in heat during the station, and a sow return zone for the sow to relax and socialize. Well, we already have many years of experience with us electronic sow feeding. As you can see on the sheet, we have a couple of references of big integrators that use our electronic sow feeding with the greatest success stories. Second, I want to tell you something about our farrowing feeding system. The farrowing feeding system is an electronic, electronic automatic, automated system for feeding sows during farrowing. You can set feed curves into the system for sows to be fed multiple times a day, completely electronic. We also have a lot of references on our farrowing feeding systems around the world. We have the Harim Group, Wens, uses Xiangyang, the Heus, of course, Maple Leaf Costa in Spain, and more to come in the nearby future. We have installations worldwide of a farrowing feeding system and uses that. I really enjoy using our system. Second, I want to tell you something about the ProSense. And we go back to our ecosystem and we see that ProSense adds to the genetic company, but also uh, feed development com companies have a, a big use for our big performance testing system. Big performance test testing system is a system that measures not only how much feed the pig takes in daily, but also the amount of the, the feed conversion rate of the pig. The pig grows every day, as you see on this animation. The pig performance testing offers the possibility to make growth curves, but also the amount of visits a pig does per day in our system. When, take, when all this data is taken and put into a system, you can rank the pigs and actually select the, the best 1% pigs you are having your total herd. Well, as I've said, the pig performance testing is used mainly in genetics and in nutritional companies. Of course, we also have a lot of reference for our ProSense, as can be seen on the screen. Lastly, I want to tell you something about NADA pork sense. NADA pork sense consists of our pork tuner, which is actually a pig sorting system we use for finisher barns. NADA pork sense is as is the NADA ESM, a whole different management system in the barn as well. The NADA pork sense allows you to use your floor space more optimally. NADA pork sense is a concept to house large groups of finisher pigs. This concept actually allows us to grow the finisher pigs according to their weight growth. With the measurements we take every day, we can see the growth 
a pig and stir them according to with feed intake. Well, this was the webinar of NADAP about the future of pig farming. I want to invite you all to talk about producing pigs. We are open for your questions and discussion.